What's up, guys? Uh, JW Heiser 1302. Uh, some of y'all know me as Jay Weiser 1302. That's cool. Either way is fine, guys. But it's actually JW Heiser 1302. Um, I actually kind of like the Jay Weiser, so y'all keep calling me that. You know, it's what y'all are used to. I dig it. And uh, I'm not picky, so whatever. Uh, and thank you, Cichlidman09, for dubbing me that. I really, I really dig it. I really do like that name, Jay Weiser, because I am wiser. <laughs> Anyways, uh, y'all might be wondering uh, why y'all see that divider in there. That's new, that's new, and you don't see a Lima, no, Lima shovel nose catfish. What's going on in this tank, guys? Can any of y'all guess? Of course you can't, because you're not here, and you can't answer through a video. But anyways, uh, got the female dovi in there, uh, so the wild pair is together. Uh, of course, you, as you can see, they're divided. Uh, you might be asking, well, why the hell does he have that divider in there all crooked looking and shit? Well, uh, I wanted to optimize the space inside this tank. Um, it's a really tall tank, uh, and, uh, you know, they're going to be in here for a little bit longer until I get uh, this other tank I have uh, in the works going. Uh, and I'll do a video on that, guys. Uh, that thousand gallon, y'all, y'all all might might have may or may not have heard about. Uh, that is coming uh, in the beginning to middle of next year, guys. I'm going to be doing a full fabrication. Uh, it's going to have built-in overflows, and it's also going to have a 265 gallon sump that I'm building myself as well. Um, that is coming. I thought it was going to be uh, actually this coming up month in December, but some things happened, uh, you know, and I really, to be honest with you, couldn't afford the shipping on the acrylic right now um, to build that big of a tank anyway, because um, you have to, you know, ship it through freight on a truck, and it's just a pain in the ass, guys, and you have to get insurance and all that fun shit, but whatever. Uh, so that will be coming in the middle, uh, or well, actually probably closer to the beginning of next year. So y'all keep y'all's eyes peeled for that. I have an update on this tank right now as well, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to make it quick. I know it's Friday. Y'all want to get the day started and, you know, party. I don't party. I hang out with my family and play with my fish and, you know, whatever. But to each his own. Uh, but yeah, guys, I got the two. Uh, I got the wild male. He's on this side. Got the wild female on this side. Uh, and I was really particular in doing that because if she does not like this male, then she can flirt through the glass here, the, you know, where the two males always flirted together, uh, with this male, uh, Skip's Dovi, uh, and this is from his bulldozer, uh, I believe bulldozer is either his granddaddy or maybe his great granddaddy, I could be wrong, Skip, if you're watching this, uh, feel free to correct me, actually, uh, you know, I'd love to know. Um, however, I do know this guy over here is from Rampage Jr. Uh, I got something cool to tell y'all about him today too. Um, but anyways, back to the to the wild pair. Um, the reason I'm putting them together when they're so young, guys, is because I kind of want to get them used to each other. I like taking it real slow when I'm trying to get a breeding pair of dovies. Uh, most of y'all probably know that. Uh, but I want to reiterate, reiterate it in case there's any any people out there, you know, thinking about getting dovies or uh, just started keeping dovies and wants to know, you know, how to get a pair out of them. Uh, you know, I don't like just sticking a female in there and uh, basically letting them go at it. Um, I put them in there when they're about three to four inches, and then I let them get used to each other. Uh, and then once the male gets a little bit bigger, there will be a hole cut in there to where only the female can get through, and then they can start flirting that way. And then once they become, you know, a bonded pair, then, you know, of course there won't be a, a divider in there. And you even still run a risk with that, guys. I mean, the male can just turn ape shit one day and just uh, say, hey, I want to kill this damn female. So, boom, she's dead. Uh, but sometimes a female can kill the male, uh, which I think could be likely with this female. She's uh, pretty badass. You can see her peeking out right there. They're all pissed off. I was in the tank, guys. Uh, and then something I want to tell you all about this wild one here. Uh, I, was, I was messing around putting that Anubius on the top of that log right there. And I'll be damned if he came up and said, bop, right on my hand. I mean, of course, it didn't hurt as bad as my Jaguars when they bite me when they're breeding. 
but uh, I could definitely feel it. Uh, it had drew a little bit of blood as well. Uh, so he's definitely starting to come around. Uh, this guy here, uh, he's starting to come around. Um, man, he's a badass fish, I'll tell you. Look at him just staring at me. Look at that. Uh, and these two guys here, they're getting up to about six to seven inches. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller than the male that I have up, up inside my 120 there. Uh, that male I have up there is about eight inches. Uh, you see him, uh, he's digging his pit again. Um, but anyways, the update I have in this tank is, uh, I mean, y'all see that I have live plants in almost all of my tanks. Uh, I do that because I kind of enjoy looking at them, plus they have beneficial factors, especially for fry. Uh, like here I have the java moss, I have a, you know, a little lily, and uh, over there the big time nitrate reducers, uh, red mangrove, and a uh, a plant my son picked out, he likes those curly Q uh, bamboo plants, they grow fine in water so I just stuck it in there. Um, and then of course I got the Amazon frog bit up there. Uh, that's a great plant guys, great nitrate reducer, plus uh, fish don't really mess with it. Um, but anyways, uh, I got tired of the java moss and uh, the roots to all that frog bit right there going inside my filter strainers. So I just took some of that plastic canvas and I made triangles out of them and then I made a little top to go on them. So uh, if I ever decide to keep frying here, guess what guys, I don't have to have a sponge filter. Woo woo! What it do? Great idea, ding ding ding. Um, but anyways, uh, sorry guys, I'm excited it's Friday. Y'all probably are too, but I'm trying to keep this video short, blah 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 blah. Um, so yeah. Um, when they come out later, the you know they just gotta you know cool off from me being inside that tank and moving all those rocks and pissing them off basically. I also took that Lima shovel nose out of there and put them over there with the Amphilopus. So guys, if y'all want some of those Jaguar fry, you better get them because that uh, shovel nose is gonna eat them. Um, they'll be gone in a couple days. I have some big ones in there that he won't be able to eat, but you know, uh, and then of course. Those guys, uh, and this guy over here, he's starting to be a tank, uh, or tank banger, uh, a glass banger, guys. He's starting to come out when I put my hand up. Oh, well, of course, he won't do it when I'm on camera, but, uh, anyways, but yeah, guys, I got the wild ones together. Uh, these guys are, y'all can see the orange coming through on him. I really think they're about to let, actually, they are. As you can see, they cleaned all that algae off that rock. I know I've been telling y'all that for about a week now. But, uh, it really seems like they are about to, um, come here, girl. Um, but yeah, she'll actually let me pet her most of the time. I don't know, oh, she's probably hungry. She's probably saying, fuck you, you ain't petting me until you give me some food. But, uh, man, he's looking good. Look at that, guys. Ooh, baby. Ooh, wait. Mm-mm. Purples, blues, orange, and those just deep orange eyes. Jesus, look at that fish. He's beautiful. And uh, I don't know if y'all saw the video yesterday, but guys, but I am thinking about selling these guys. Uh, they are a breeding pair. Of course, uh, you know, I won't sell them until I have proof on video that they breed, uh, even though y'all have seen the Jaguar Fry I've showed you. Um, but... Yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. I got my shipment from Cichlidman09. Mr. Forrest sent me some fish. He sent me some Frederick Stalli, Paracromus Frederick Stalli, and some Umbriferums or Umbies, as some of y'all may know. Uh, Rio Magdalena, if I said that right. Sometimes I butcher those names, uh, but they are F1 Umbies. I'm getting those. And then the uh, La Ciba Freddies. I probably butchered that too, but, you know. It's whatever. I'm good with scientific names of fish. It's just their locations I have a problem with. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the comments, the likes, the subscriptions. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of some kind of contest to do, uh, but, you know, I want it to be real special. I like going above and beyond. Uh, Y'all learn that about me. Uh, I don't like being like everybody else. Uh, I like to, you know, I like to really do it up, guys, so... Um, if y'all have some ideas, let me know, um, and I'll leave it at that. Oh, and guys, I'm still trying to get rid of all these plants. Uh, I'm down to the point where you just pay shipping and I'll send them to you. I don't care. 
If you want the plants, let me know. I will send them to you. Okay? Um, I got all kinds of stuff. I got some uh, blue hygrophilia, poly, or not polysperma, but, blue, well, blue hygro. Y'all know what it is by just saying blue hygro. That's all that stuff right there. I got a bunch of Anubias, Java Fern, uh, you know, Java Moss. I uh, probably won't get rid of so much of my Java Moss because I use that a lot. I'll give y'all uh, some of my frog bit. Uh, I got all kinds of stuff, guys. So if y'all want a list, let me know. I'll send it to you for shipping. Down and out. Uh, but anyways, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and thank y'all again. Y'all are the bomb. And... Uh, Stay tuned for that video tomorrow, guys, when I do the box opening. Uh, what y'all see is what I see. There's, no gonna, there's not going to be any fluff. The fish show up dead.